In this scenario, we like to take a look at the expenditure analysis from public works manager's point of view. Another person like Vince comes here and makes sure that you have enough balances on your budget in order to create a PO and change an order. Like for example, you notice, okay, you fixed the road, but there was not much lighting. It was a bit dark at night. So you need to add additional fixture into that street. So you use the same PO and you add lines to it instead of creating a brand new PO. And then while you're doing this, you notice that you don't have enough budget. So therefore you need to have a budget for it, but it's emergency. So I transfer additional fund from a reserve funds into my department funds. And then I process it and confirm the PO and go through the same process again. I go back to budget the statistics first and see what do I have. You can see the actual expenditure, revised budgets, encumbrances, pre-encumbrances. I specify a budget cycle based on my fiscal year. Pick and choose the dimension value of my choice and a main account maybe. Or I can do it based on a budget group and group my budgets in order to have more granular control over the budgets that has been created for me. I can pick and choose, for example, one of these groups and as you see, it shows per period how much budget do I have, how much has been revised, how much encumbrances, pre-encumbrances, or how much expenditure have I got. The fact boxes on your right-hand side have been explained a lot as part of my previous demonstration. If I take a look at this period that I've been demonstrating this, take a look at encumbrances. This is actually budget reservation for encumbrances that is available for this ledger account, for this fund, this account, this division, and program. And you can see if there is any commitment, you can actually see how much of it has have been relieved, have been used in other words. You can also view it using dimension values and pick and choose a proper account. You see, I got 20,000 funds available or in this example, I got 5,000 left and I have 15,000 actual expenditure, $5,000 is left. I'm just gonna actually go back and take a look at this later and maybe I realize that this one has 20,000 left. So what I'm gonna do, perhaps I'm gonna pick up from another department or another period of mine in order to transfer budget into it. If you take a look at the encumbrances on this one, it shows that there's a $25,000 and the relieved amount is minus 15. That's the invoices in March, let's say. Actual expenditure are also being shown that $15,000 have been posted. So if you have any actual expenditure, you deduct it from the budget. That's why 15 grand was minus that. You can look at the view by fiscal period or by budget cycle. You can view the encumbrances as I showed you, pre-encumbrances, revised budget, and actual expenditure. So after you do the statistical analysis, I'll go back to the purchase orders and we deal with one of these existing purchase orders. And when I wanted to change this, as you see, there is a request change option. It's already approved. And when I click on request change, you have the capability to go back to the first step. That means you want to change this PO. I open it up and now I can add line. The first line, the budget control shows I have enough budget. Let's go ahead and take advantage of this scenario. This company was supposed to do the snow removal. I'm going to ask him to do something else. As you notice, this category for this vendor of mine has no specific policy, unlike the previous one, that they were only doing road repair. These people can do additional work for me. So I can associate a particular category and say I like to have a snow removal services, for example, for additional one because again it snowed the night before even though they cleaned it yesterday I want to have them to be cleaning it again tomorrow so I'm just going to add an additional 250 hours there at the price of let's say 100 bucks notice that immediately since I don't have enough budget budget control takes effect and it says that you're exceeding for this fund for this account for this division and department or program by five thousand dollars remember I had only five thousand left so I click close and now I can take a look at the financial take a look at the budget check errors and it tells me exactly what the problem is it shows that you're over five thousand dollars in this type of a scenario right from there you can take a look at the budget control statistics from this form and you can go to the budget control